I'm not gonna lie. This chapter went harder than it really, really should have. This shit was crazy from beginning to end, especially since we're starting off the chapter picture whatever you want to call it, with Onigashima underwater. That, that shit looks epic. I would love to see that in person or in the anime. Actually, more in the anime than in person because then I don't know how to swim, so I'd probably be shut out of luck. But we start off the chapter where we left off last time. Dr. Vegapunk is letting everyone around the world get the news that, yo, I'm about to expose everyone everything everyone if you got secrets i'm gonna let somebody know about it you remember that shit that you stole out of your mom's purse when you were seven years old i'm about to let people know about that sanji remember that time you ran away from home i'm about to let people know about that nami remember that yeah you know what never mind i, I like you nami he's letting everybody know about this stuff bro and you know the girl say is a little worried like yo what the hell is happening and they're having an internal conversation it's like the even between the vega punks like yo stella is this a good idea yo pythagoras what do you think about this and the dr vega punk the one with the apple on his head i don't know how else to describe him that guy is like, yo, like, this is this is my parting gift to the world. Like, you guys have been run amok, been hoodwinked, been bamboozled, run amok. And they're, the, everybody's worried is like, yo, get this man off the airwaves. And they even discuss it. It's like, yo, how the hell is he getting all over the world? We see uh, throughout the chapter scenes from all the way from Dress Rosa to Fusha Island. And all the while, Luffy's looking like, hold on, I'm holding a giant spider and a little rat, which is what Kizuru has become. And by the way, by the way, such a big flex, bro. That shit is cold. The man took a one of the girls, say, by all means, strong as Kaido. And he took Kizuru and he's holding him like he's a little play toy. And he's like, yo, I'm about to do this shit like I do this shit. Even the Straw Hats is like, yo, that's Vegapunk, right? Like, what is he even talking about? And everybody's wondering, like, what is the news that it's about to come? And the girls say, we're going to have to Pluto the whole motherfucker all over the world. We're out of luck right now because once this shit pops off, we're not going to have a problem with one revolution over here and one revolution over there just to put them back in line. And that's kind of like, you know, they thought Luffy was going to be the one to do that or Nika. Turns out it's neither. Turns out it's Vegapunk. Vegapunk is the guy who's like, yo... I do this shit, brother. And they asked him, it's like, yo, in the in the Holy Land of Marajoa, and I hate calling it Holy Land of Marajoa. It's not, what, what makes it holy, bro, is that these five asshole pieces of shit are there. That's what makes it holy. It looks more like a sadistic place to be, and I wouldn't want to be there anyways. And uh, they're all telepathically communicating between all the girls, and they're having a conversation as these events are unfolding. And we're getting the impression that, wait a minute, they're communicating telepathically they're not there's no transponder snails there's no video messages they, this is all like they're telepathically connected they're talking about like yo did you kill vegapunk and he was like yeah i saw kizuru shoot the man in the back with a piece of light that shit was crazy it was like he should be dead so it might be the case that vegapunk is about to expose all our secrets and a man with a lot of secrets bro he's he's a powerful man you do not want that man to speak and they're trying to like narrow it down like yo like where is the source of all this news coming from like is there a pinpointing thing that we can do like take down one satellite or you know take down the guy's youtube channel or whatever no he is on your network he is shipping all this news on your airwaves and he was like yo he was up to it he was like what is one way that we can get all across the world without being interrupted by the marines or the world government it's to use them very selves the world government or the marines and we see the Tantadas, by the way, we haven't seen them in, I think, I want to say, like, eight years in real life. And we haven't seen them in, sev like, wait, I want to say 600 chapters, like, in person. Like, maybe we've seen them here and there, but we haven't seen them like this. So, they're like, yo, I told you guys not to believe anything that you heard about Lucy. Lucy is a man who is on a mission and he will free us all. Just like he did with Dress Rosa, he will do to every other island. He will free us. 
from the yoke of the oppression of the government. And on Morgan's ship, the flying tea kettle itself, we see that he is just saying like, yo, this, he he's kind of hip to this. He, you know, as a connoisseur of spreading news and gossip, this man is probably shitting himself at how good of an opportunity this is. And he was like, yo, this shit is not live. This shit's pre-recorded. So even if you were to kill him, even if you were to do anything, this shit is recorded somewhere. So you got to go to the source, the source. And he's going to spread all this information. And once it gets to Morgan's, oh, you better believe it, bro. You better believe that that shit's getting all over the world. Morgan's holding some news. That's like Keemstar holding in some drama alert on YouTube, bro. That shit's not happening. This shit is going to reach even my mama, bro. Everybody's going to hear about this. And we even see Ivankov. He's like, yo, Vega Punk changed, bro. He lost some weight, especially in the northern region of his head. He used to have a big-ass forehead. Like, I'm talking about me, but times three. It's like, yo, the man changed. And even Dragon is looking like, oh, shit. Shit's about to pop off, baby. Like, we are we are really, really about to do some reckless ass shit. And Luffy's saying to himself, he's like, yo, it looks like my punches ain't doing shit to you. But what if I do something called Gum Gum Simba? And he basically flattens them like on some cartoon shit and makes them go around like they're a piece of paper, bro. That is some wild ass shit. I'm not gonna lie. That is some crazy ass shit to do to one of the girls, say, who by all means is probably as strong as Kaido. And then you're doing it to an admiral who is a known menace. I still kind of like, but I hate him so much for what he did to Vegapunk, bro. I, I don't think I'll ever forgive you. But Luffy thought it was going to be really easy to get rid of Saturn. Turns out not so much. He even says it. It's like, yo, what is it going to take to get you out of the picture, bro? Why are you so hard to kill? And you know, honestly, it's kind of like an insect in real life. When you hit them, you can't leave them with three or four legs. They'll crawl out and they'll be back in a few days. You have to kill that motherfucker. And then at the very end, when he's like, yo, we have to nip this in the bud. We have to take out all the issues right now that the Straw Hats are causing. And everybody around the world is going to turn into a frenzy if this news reaches the outside world. I am going to implement the G14 classified crazy ass shit that not even you or you or even Oda has ever thought of before about to summon some crazy ass shit what is this crazy ass shit I have no freaking clue bro we just see four summoning circles similar to the ones that popped up when he came out of the hellhole that he came out of and now we see four and in my personal opinion bro I'm not gonna lie to you guys I think he's summoning the other girl say and if one girl say caused this much damage and is this freaking powerful, then imagine the other four, bro. The other four are going to be menaces. I don't think the strides are going to make it out of there in one piece. They, this shit is going to move on a whole different insane level, bro. If Mercury, if Jupiter, if the other two guys come out there, if you guys all pop out at the same time and are on that same level... Bro, I don't even know if Nika could do anything. Dragon might have to pull up. Shit. Kaido might have to pull up. Big Mom might have to pull up. <laughs> Gold Roger could pull up at that point. And that shit might be a tall tale to get out of safely. That shit is crazy, bro. This shit, this chapter is leaving me thinking, like, it might be the case that Oda was right. Like, somebody's not going to leave here alive. Vegapunk rest in peace to the to the homie to you know what i'm saying like we'll pour one out for you but the uh, the other straw hats we might lose an important character bro we might lose an important character i i hope not i hope for the best hope we're gonna make it out this bitch it's just looking rough right now shout out to you guys appreciate it. if you like the video leave a thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you on the next one